Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you the Milk Cow Blues. <laughs> Hello, in this lesson I'm going to show you the Milk Cow Blues. Uh, I'm going to give you three versions. The simple version, the Bob Wills Western Swing version and the backing riff that you can use with this. And incidentally, if you're enjoying my videos and want them to keep coming, then do please consider joining me on Patreon. So this was written and recorded by the left-handed blues guitarist Kokomo Arnold back in 1934. And Bob Wills recorded it with his band in 1946 and it became a Western Swing standard. Uh, in 1955, Elvis did a rockabilly version, and probably inspired by that, the Kinks did a rock version in 1966, which I really enjoy. Um, so let's start off with the, the very simple version. We're in the key of A, so no ornaments, no double stops. One, two, three... <laughs> Okay, you can tell this is a blues because we've got uh, some C naturals, even though it's in the key of A, which should have a C sharp. So the that is a blue note, and quite often in this situation, those notes will be bent either up uh, up to the note or up from the note. Uh, but let's just hear that again with the backing. Notice that it has a, um, a very strong swing feel, or you could think of it as a 12 8 feel. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that is very much a feature of a lot of slower blues, that it goes from 4 into a kind of 12 feel. Okay, now the, uh, the Bob Wills version has some really nice little tricks. Uh, we start off with a drone, an A string drone going above the... Now, for, the, for this next bit, if you can do a fourth finger and an open A together, that's great. So that's triplet, and A over the E. That's a third finger, fourth finger open. That's a A over a C sharp and an E over a C sharp. Let's just take it up to there. One, two, three. Okay. So E drone over the C natural. Uh, next bar is the trickiest. So this is parallel fifths. If we just look at the bottom line, so that's uh, a crotchet, triplet, crotchet. Um, but we're going to do all of that with the second finger going across onto the E string. Then we're into a C sharp, sliding up to it with an E above it. A has an E below it, and the timing of this is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So, 
Okay. Then put your uh, first finger on the E string, playing an F sharp. And then hold it down as you're playing. Take it off to play that double E. And then it's an A on the third finger. And then into third position, three, two, one. Down into first position. Slide up to this C sharp. Let's just do those two bars. And then we've got uh, what I believe is an imitation of a cow. So uh, I'm not sure if the timing is written exactly right here, but I'm playing fourth finger for the G sharp. And I'm sliding each of the notes down a bit to sort of a uh, complaining mooing sound. Okay, let's do all of that slowly with the backing. One, two, three. Finally, there's a nice backing riff that you can hear on the Bob Wills version. Uh, we'll do it with the, with the backing so you can hear what it's doing. One, two, three, four. <laughs> behind the vocals or behind someone else's solo and if you can do that with someone else in unison it sounds really great. Uh, to me playing in a western swing band that is one of the joys is coming up with lines like that which you can play behind other things. Uh, it's just so satisfying. Uh, okay I will uh, play you out with three times round and uh, with some improvisation. Uh, if you enjoyed this and would like a copy of the dots then do subscribe and send me an email if you would like a zip file with every single one of my PDFs, which is around 350 so far, with a whole lot of other benefits as well, please do consider joining me on Patreon, because that's what keeps these videos coming. I'll play you out with three times around. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.